We tend to fixate on that which we cannot explain. Though sometimes having all of the answers offers no reassurance, here are 10 videos where the explanation is just as terrifying as the mystery itself. Number 10. Melanie Goodwin is getting some snacks at a convenience store late at night. CCTV video shows her walking around the store while on the phone with her boyfriend, telling him that she will be over soon. The surveillance system also catches a man walking into the store who follows her around and buys nothing. He asks to use the phone and paces around, seemingly buying time until Melanie leaves. Then he follows her out the door. 90 minutes later, another CCTV system catches him, taking her to her car and setting it on fire. Police were able to use the video to identify Ernesto Reyes as the culprit and he received a life sentence. Another man identified as Donovan Young was also sentenced to eight years as an accomplice. Police would have never been able to solve this case without the help of Melanie's boyfriend. He was able to tell them her last known whereabouts because he was the one who asked her to get snacks late at night. If not for him, None of this would have happened. It's a simple mistake, but still something that he will always regret and can sadly never take back. Number 9. A remorseless psycho has been roaming the streets, striking people senseless with a hammer in Las Vegas, Nevada. This time he's come across a particularly vulnerable homeless target who is fast asleep in the cold street. The lunatic looks over his shoulder. It's the middle of the night, no one else is around. He quietly removes his blunt instrument of destruction from a plastic bag and takes two swings. Little does he know his hammer has connected with the head of a mannequin set up by the LVMPD. This is not a homeless person, but rather a decoy that police are using to catch the man who has been terrorizing the streets. It was an undercover operation that they weren't sure would work, but to their astonishment, they catch him after only a few nights. The man, later identified as Shane Schindler, had this to say upon his arrest. Okay, have you hit anybody with a hammer? No. His attitude quickly changes after being confronted with the video evidence. Shane was sentenced to serve between 8 and 20 years for striking the decoy with a hammer. I don't think police could pin him to the other incidents in the area, or else he would have gotten more time. Either way, at no point did he seem particularly upset by his actions or their consequences. Number 8. Julia Merfeld gets into a stranger's car and they introduce themselves. So, I guess you got a little business to discuss? Yeah. She is interviewing a hitman for hire. They discuss payment, a good date and time, and the target, Jacob, her husband. The conversation becomes increasingly creepy as they get into the finer details of the job. You don't want him to suffer, so I'll make no, it quick and not. clean. Perfect. I can do it any way you want me to, <laughs> but I just want to know how you want it done. Really, whatever's easiest. If you can get him outside, that would be great. Because okay. it, would, it would be messy. In <laughs> they later have a second meeting finalizing the plan. After showing the hitman a picture of the target, Julia starts talking about why she is having this done. As terrible as it sounds, it was easier than divorcing him. You know, I didn't have to worry about the judgment of my family. I didn't have to worry about breaking his heart. Uh, stuff like this. It's like kind of like a, a, clean, a clean getaway. I mean, it's going to be a I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take him head on there and I'm going to shoot him right in the face. Okay. Okay. Little does Julia know that she is actually talking to an undercover officer. And these two videos contain all the evidence they need to put her away. The judge gave Julia a sentence of between 5 and 20 years. Let me know if you agree with this decision, or if you would have given a harsher sentence. Number 7. This rare footage of a possible ghost ship made waves over the internet back in 2010. Everyone thought it was a paranormal sighting at sea, but it actually turned out to be a rare mirage caused by changes in air temperature. Apparently, when the water cools off, the air temperature just right. It sometimes can make ships look like they are floating. This is called the Fata Morganaz effect. I'd really appreciate it if someone in the comments section could leave a more detailed scientific explanation to help us better understand this strange phenomenon. Number 6. 
The CCTV video of Hannah Graham was taken on the night of her disappearance. You can see her walking in the background from right to left with a man tagging along behind her. Here is a closer look at Jesse Matthews, the man responsible for taking her life. Police used this video and other similar footage to determine that Jesse approached Hannah and had a conversation. Police dogs detected Hannah's scent on the door of Jesse's car and around a dumpster near Jesse's house. They got a search warrant and found her belongings inside. Police used Jesse's DNA to link him to another woman named Morgan Harrington, whose body was discovered years earlier. Jesse was sentenced to life for these horrifying actions. Number 5. A horrifying CCTV video released by the Philadelphia Police shows a 22-year-old nursing student named Carlicia Freeland Gaither walking down the street after a family birthday party when suddenly a man descends upon her. He marches her down the street and forces her into his car. She is resisting the entire time but is eventually overpowered. Using this video, police are able to identify the make and model of this vehicle. Over time, the video spreads to other police stations across the East Coast. Eventually, a law enforcement agency in Virginia recognizes a unique sticker on the suspect's vehicle and gives the Philadelphia police a person's name. They are able to trace that name to a dealership in Virginia and the dealership uses a GPS device to track the car's current location to another part of Maryland. Three days later, police find their suspect, a man named David Barnes, using his GPS coordinates. He is arrested and given 35 years, though none of this would have been possible without the original CCTV video. Number 4 there's a section in California's Mojave Desert where large rocks move on their own, carving huge paths behind them. These rocks are roughly the size of a man, and there's no way to move them without leaving some sort of machinery tracks behind. Scientists have been documenting this rare phenomenon for years, but only recently was it caught on video. This time-lapse footage shows the Mojave Desert rocks gliding effortlessly without anyone around. It looks paranormal, but there's actually a scientific explanation. Believe it or not, the Mojave Desert can freeze in the winter, and this creates ice particles around the rocks and on the clay ground as well. Extremely high winds can then push the rocks across the ice relatively easily, so in order for this to happen, there has to be a deep freeze followed by high winds. As you can imagine, such a weather combination is pretty rare in the Mojave Desert. Number 3. This tiny alien-looking body was recovered in the South American desert of Atacama in 2003. Rumors quickly spread that the tiny inch being, which had gigantic pointy eye sockets and two missing ribs, had to be from another galaxy. DNA testing quickly revealed a different story. The small human was a member of the local population who had a rare genetic variation of dwarfism that has never been documented before. This discovery would have never been possible if not for this video to generate public interest. Number 2. This is one of 14 human feet that have somehow washed ashore in British Columbia, Canada since 2008. Everyone was sure that a butcher was on the loose until scientists analyzed the videos and realized they all had one thing in common, running shoes. Sometime in the mid-2000s, running shoe companies changed their material to a much lighter foam. This low-density foam was what carried the shoes back to the beach after they broke away from the body. Many people were relieved to hear it wasn't the doing of a sick individual. Hopefully the bodies can be one day recovered and put to rest. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. 
If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YT underscore chills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video I upload every Thursday. Number one. This is 8-year-old Libby Chaletsky leaving his school one day in Brooklyn, New York. When he fails to come home that night, his father looks at the CCTV video and starts retracing his son's path. The school's video shows his son walking down the road and making a left. He stops in a nearby locksmith store and talks to the owner, who is a neighborhood friend. The locksmith has no problem showing the worried father his CCTV footage. It shows Libby walking one direction and then doubling back as if he is lost. You can see someone in a white shirt walking with him shortly before he goes off camera. The father tracks down more CCTV videos from other businesses and paints a disturbing picture. He watches his son get into a man's car and they drive off somewhere. He checks the same camera later and sees them return. The stranger gets out of the car and leads his son into a white building. This is a small Brooklyn community, so the father instantly recognizes this place as the local dentist office. He passes all of this information to the authorities, and they raid the dentist's office and home. What they find is a grisly and scary scene. The dentist has taken his son apart and is keeping him in the freezer. His name is Levi Aaron. He told officials that he sometimes hears voices in his head. Though he never said what they told him to do or why he took Libby's life, though sheer insanity appears to be his motive, he was nonetheless sentenced to 40 years. The Earth has swallowed many secrets over the years. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but eventually almost everything comes to the surface, and when it does, all that's left to do is accidentally stumble upon it.